Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another Layer by Layer tutorial. In today's tutorial, I thought I would take a look at our AdaBot Google AIY voice kit for Raspberry Pi and do a very simple beginner friendly tutorial for Fusion 360. So in the comment section of the Thingiverse page, a couple of people um, didn't realize that their design was, was designed around a different arcade button so with the Google AIY voice kit, it does come with a button, an arcade button, but it's a little bit bigger than the one we used in our design. The one we use in our design is actually our smaller 24 millimeter diameter arcade button. The one that comes with Google's uh, kit is actually 30 millimeter diameter button. It's not this one, it, it has a different shape, but it has the same diameter as this one. So a couple of folks were asking, um, we're really struggling to learn Fusion 360 and how to easily kind of update the lid so that it can house the bigger button that's included with the Google Voice Kit. So I figure I'd take this opportunity to show you guys uh, a very beginner uh, friendly tutorial on Fusion 360. So the first thing you want to do is go to our learning page. If you're always checking out the, the Thingiverse page, that's fine, but all of our source links and product links are actually in the learning guide. So inside here, you'll see that there's a 3D printing page. If you click on that, scroll down, there is a download Fusion 360 files link. And that'll give you uh, all of the source files because all of our designs are open source and you can download them. So it'll open up like this. This is the browser preview of the design. So to download it, all you gotta do is right here at the, the right top hand corner, there's a download button. Click on that and you get a drop down of all of these different types of formats. The one you want to choose is the Fusion 360 Archive. So once you click on that, it'll ask you for your email and then you will get emailed a auto-generated link from Fusion 360. So once you download that, you want to download Fusion 360, which I have a link for you guys down below. So once you open it, it'll look like this. Nothing's in here yet, so we got to get our design in there. This button over here, the little grid icon, will show us our data panel and you want to click on this Upload button. You can use the select file button or drag the Fusion 360 archive that we downloaded from our email. So you can select your file, get it in there and it'll up, it'll upload once you hit the upload button. And then it'll show up here in your in your data panel. So I'll double click on that to open it up. And here's what it looks like. You basically get to see the whole design. Now the first thing you want to do is learn how to move around inside this workspace inside of Fusion 360. So the first thing you want to do is you want to use the middle mouse button. And once you click that and drag your mouse around, you can pan around. If you want to orbit, hold down the shift key and then middle mouse button, and then you can orbit around your design. If you want to zoom in, let go of the shift key and the middle mouse button, and then just use the scroll wheel. And that'll let you scroll in and out of the design. So get familiar with using all three panning, orbit, and zoom. And you can basically move around without having to use this guy, which is the uh, orb that's kind of like a cube that allows you to uh, move around your design. So that's kind of neat. If you ever want to home yourself, you get lost, you can always click on that home icon. It'll get you right back home like this. All right, the next thing you wanna do is you wanna update this circle. So let's go ahead and zoom onto it and then click on that surface. It'll highlight blue. And if you look at your lower right hand corner, you'll see that it says radius is 12 millimeters. So that lets us know that the diameter is 24 millimeters. If you look over here, you see all these icons. This is actually our timeline, just a chronological timeline of all the things, all the features that make up this design. So if you look over here, there's this one that's highlighted with the three little uh, lines here. That is actually the feature that makes the hole. So if I double click on that, you'll see that I can edit it now, but it's just an extrusion. So I can't modify the diameter, but I can see how this is being made. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit cancel and I'll select that again, that surface. And you'll see right next to that over here, right before we made that extrusion, there's a little sketch. It's a, it's a, a pencil. So if I click on that, I can right click and sit and hit edit sketch 
And this will bring us in the editing sketch mode where I can change the dimension of the sketch. So if you scroll in the center here, you'll see that we have a, a, a 2D circle and it has a number associated to it. And that's actually the dimension of this circle. So it's 24 millimeter diameter. So if I wanna change this, all I gotta do is double click on that number. I get an editable input field. And here's where I can update the diameter of the circle. So what I wanna do is I wanna make it 30 millimeters. However, when you 3D print something, it tends to shrink. So you wanna add a little bit of extra uh, tolerance. So I'm gonna put zero, or I'm gonna put uh, 30.2 millimeters. Now it depends on your 3D printer, but somewhere between two and four is a pretty good uh, number. So I'm gonna go with 30.2 millimeters. I'll hit enter. As soon as I hit enter, the sketch updates, or at least the drawing updates. Now if I wanna confirm that, I go up here where it says stop sketch, the little checkbox here, and this will confirm the edits we just made. So I'll hit okay. Now Fusion will automatically update that extrusion. And just to kind of double check it, I can click on this button over here, it says measure. And this will let me measure things inside of our design. So if I click on uh, this edge right here, it'll tell me the diameter is 30.2 millimeters. So it's already updated. And that's basically all we need to do to update that feature. So at this point, we can export this out as an STL. So it, it'll be under the bodies folder and this is called lid uh, dash top. So we can export that by right clicking on it and then saying save as STL. There's some extra settings that you can modify but by default it's pretty good. So I'll hit okay button. And now I can save the STL out to a directory and that's pretty much it. So hopefully that's a, a, a nice introductory uh, to Fusion 360. If you want to download Fusion 360, we have a download link for you in the description. And if you'd like some more tutorials, I have a playlist labeled as Layer by Layers. And you can check those out if you wanna learn how to do some other designs in Fusion 360. That's gonna be it for me. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and use the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next one.